my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to do permanent. Now I have a lady over here. So what we're going to do is you wash her hair, but you wash it very gently when you have to give a permanent. You cannot massage the scalp so hard so you don't have to open the pores. And next what you have to do is and do not use conditioner. And then you have to check to make sure that the customer hair is colored, natural, highlight. You have to know because the solution that they sell there is for natural hair, for color hair, and for highlight hair. So now we're going to start. What we have to do, we have to comb it and you have to part the hair for you to make it easy. We're going to part the front from both sides. Uh, let me part it and then I'll show you. The front part, we have to roll the hair always forward. Okay, and then we put a clip. And then you separate the hair from here to here, from over top of the ears, and you put clip. So this way it will make it easier for you. I don't have to do it when I'm doing because I'm already used to it very well. So, and then you part from top to down straight line, and you put another clip here. And you do the same thing to the other side. And then you will start from the top, and you take a piece you ask the cast, your friend, whoever you're going to do, how tight curls they like. If they want very, very small, they have very short, they like to be kinky. Kinky, when I say very curly, you use small one. There is a little bigger one, a little bigger one. They go by uh, sizes. Those ones, they do very small. So my customer, she likes to do it white, a uh, pink and gray. And the white one, it's a little bigger. So the pink and then gray comes and then the white comes. If she doesn't like too curly. Or she can say, I want the top kinky. I want the bottom a little bigger. So you do whatever she likes to do. For her now, we're going to use pink and gray for the top. And the bottom, we're going to mix white. And besides that too, when you see the hair, it's a little dry. Always make sure that you wear it to make it a little bit wet because you don't want all put solution on a dry hair otherwise it's gonna burn now we have a papers this is for the permanent so for permanent what we have to do after you put you separate them you take very small pieces and you put the paper you make sure definitely the paper is covered the roller the the hair i'm sorry the hair because if the hair stays out from the paper, it will look like a fish hook. It will freeze and it can burn the ends. And try not to cut her hair. Uh, if she needs haircut, if it's very long, you can cut a little shorter. But make sure that after the permanent, you give them a little bit trim at the ends. Because no matter how much you put in the paper, always you, by mistake, you can leave the ends a little bit out so now I want to bring it closer so you can see how am I rolling so this way you get the idea and you will see how small pieces I take and it depends how thick the rollers are try not to make too big because if you make bigger it will be very loose the curls and it will uh, loosen up very quickly so now you see over here the hair, I have to push this up to make sure that the hair is in the paper. You put the roller and then you roll it. Now while I'm showing this to you, at this time people are not doing any more permanent, but still some people they love to have curly hair. And curly hair, people who have it, they like to have a straight hair. So now I'm putting the paper again and pushing it up. Do you see the hair It's in the roller? And then I'm going to put pink, gray, pink, gray for her. Maybe in the crown, if it gets faster, straighter, you put pink. It depends where it gets curlier or straighter. Then you have to, uh, they'll tell you, and that's how you do your judgment. And try not to do it yourself, because by mistake, you can burn your hair. So make sure that somebody's helping you and watching you. And on the box... I will talk about it later on. It says for you how long you have to live and how you have to do it. So this roller has to be straight going down like this. And then we're going to put here. We're going to put the sides. And then the front part, we're going to come forward. We're going to roll it. 
and we're gonna be back. Let me finish this and then I'll show you. All right, here we are. We are the last, this, the top part that you've seen, I rolled it, I put the clip. So this part, all it has to go rolled under. You have to roll it towards to her face. So this way, in case if there is breakage, that's why we do this. So it will cover it, it won't show. But you have to be, of course, very careful not to let the hair breaks. So now we're done. And one thing too I wanna say, now when you roll the hair, you have to make sure that if this, uh, the colors, the way it is, when you are rolling, you can see in the mirror that it has to be even with the other side. You cannot do this side only gray and that side only blue or whatever. So you can, while you're rolling, you can turn and you can see, so it will be all even the colors. So this way it will have even uh, curls. Now we're gonna do a permanent solution because she has color on her hair and a little wave, uh, a little bit um, highlight. And in the box it says, waving lotion and neutralizer we have to use the waving lotion and if it has make sure that you read instruction that you have to mix them together every box doesn't have this extra cream they already automatically in they might come just like this but this is the way it came it's three bottles make sure you read the instruction what you have to do and that's how you work and the neutralizer what it is i will show you later on now we have to put the solution where we're going to do we mix together because that's what it says. After you put the solution, make sure you shake it so the solution doesn't go into her ear. You take a long towel like this way or you can put cotton all around. You just put cotton all around so when you put solution, it doesn't drip to her face, to her eyes. But this is the best way to do. You take a towel, you roll it just like this and you put from the bottom to the top like this and you hold it tight you don't have to you when you hold it tight like this when the solution is going to drip the towel will, uh, will absorb it does it won't bother her and make sure that she's covered well, very well the plastic goes back you're going to put the waving solution you shake well and you start from the bottom here we go you'll tell your friend customer to bend and you put the solution all around i have to put my glasses to make sure i got every drop of the solution on here you just go once like this a couple times by pressing there you go and make sure you put your finger wherever you stop then you go the back part again from the lower part you make saturate all the hair very nice it's a small bottle, you think it's not gonna be enough, but it will be. You first you put all over, and it's gonna be extra. You will go back all over again, and whatever the customer says to you or your friend that this part, it straightens up so quickly, what you do is, that part you go and you put some more on it. And before you put the solution, while you're rolling, like I said, make sure that you saturate the hair all the time with the spray bottle. You don't want to put the solution on a dry hair. Otherwise, the solution can burn the hair. This is the way you do. And now we are on the top at the ends over here. You make sure you tell your customer that... In case if it's dripping on her face, let her let you know. See, now I still have extra. I'm gonna go all over again and put one more. Sub solution, it says put under dryer. Anyway, I wanna tell you any solution that you put to your friend customer, there's still a little left, but I think she has enough. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little plastic on her because it comes with plastic. You will cover it to keep it nice and warm. And while it's colored, you make sure you don't leave, you leave 15 minutes and you check it. In case the hair is not done, you can leave another five minutes. Do not leave long because the hair will burn. And I'm gonna show you how you can tell if the hair is done. But if it's natural hair, 
you can leave about 20 to 25 minutes. So now we're gonna put a little couple clips, the bottom to hold the towel and the plastic together. Make sure the customer is comfortable. Don't give her too much work to do. You have to work for her. And be pleasant to her so you can keep your customer always. Now we're gonna leave like this about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, but I'm gonna check it every five minutes just to make sure that the hair is done. And you better put timer because sometimes we talk and then we forget what time it is. So I'm gonna put for her 15 minutes, but between them, I'll get up and I'll check to make sure if the hair is done much quicker, I can take it out. If no, I will leave 15 minutes, definitely her hair will be done. All right, we're gonna be back. All right, now that I checked to her a few times, her hair was done. Every five minutes I was opening, couple times I opened it and her hair was doing good. Now the 15 minutes is gone and I wanna show you how does it look? And this is the way you have to see there. Let me bring this closer. All right. Here now where you have to open the roller and then you push it in. And when you see like an S, you'll see that the hair is ready. I'm not sure if you can see, it's a little too light. I can see, but I'm sure you can. So it means her hair is done but you check it few places, one in the back and over here too. We wanna make sure that all over the places, you see how it looks when I push it in, it's like a letter S. So it means it's done. So now we're gonna wash her hair. We don't wanna keep it any longer because we don't want her hair to burn. Here it is, I wanna show you this one, the way you see it. When I push it in, you see how it's bending. So now we're gonna wash her hair. You make sure you wash her hair for five minutes, all right? All right, now you see over here, the water should be kind of a lukewarm, nice and warm, but not hot. And you have to wash like this for five minutes. Put your hands like this so you don't wash the customer's face. Now we are gonna clean all the solution out and the smells goes away that way. You don't let the customer raise their head, you raise for them. Otherwise you wash them and their neck will hurt. So you have to make sure you make her comfortable. All right, now that I wash the customer's hair, you blot them, you dry them very well with the towel. You tap them until you see it's dry, it's not dripping anymore. So again, you put the towel all around or a cotton around her face. And now we have to use the neutralizer. Neutralizer, what it does is uh, the solution, it makes the hair softer. It takes the shape of the curl and neutralizer, what it does, it tightens up. It makes it stronger. It takes the shape of the roller, it hardens it. So when you take the roller out, she'll have a curly hair. So now I'm gonna put the solution again, the way I did before, all over. Try and make sure not to miss anything. If it's hard for you, let the customer or your friend hold the towel and you'll put the solution to make sure you're not missing anything. Otherwise, when you rinse the hair and you didn't put the solution, the curls are gonna be all gone. It will be all your work will be waste. So you make sure you put the solution on each roller. Now we're gonna put the top. Now she's done. This time she doesn't need any plastic to cover. We will leave her about five to seven minutes and then we're gonna take the roller out and we're gonna show you the result. All right, here we are. Now five, seven minutes is gone. Now we're gonna take the roller out and we're gonna see the result, of course, when you're taking it out, you make sure you take the paper out too with it. Make it easier for you while you're taking it out. And let me open it this side only so you can see. Pretty curl. Wherever the Yay. big rollers is, it's nice and waved Yay. on a curly side. 
smaller you put, smaller gets, bigger you put, bigger curl you see. And you will see how beautiful it is. And then you're gonna rinse it very well, wash it. You can leave her curly and she can go that way or she can do blow dryer and whatever she wants, you'll do it. And this is the result will be curly. <laughs> And I hope I put here solution too, I hope. I think he did. Yes. Sure looks like it. Got pretty good curl there too. There now you that's go. A nice curl. Here is the curl. Try not to make it too kinky unless they are people like they just want to wash and wear. When they are older, they like that. Or some of them, they love really, really tight. Yeah. You can leave them like that. But I think like this, it's more keeps looks youngish and easier will be for them mm. to handle it what they will do they will wash wash and wear pretty close all right pretty so close. now it's there we go this is the result will look how beautiful curl she has yes, it is. all right now i want to thank you very much for watching and i hope you like this video and do not forget the fashion it will come back with the perm and this is the way you'll do permanent thanks again and if you like it please like and subscribe and go on my videos you'll see plenty variety things it's not only one thing in my videos there is fixing building animals gardening all kind of variety things well enjoy the channel and i thank you again bye bye Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patreon.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.